Hello everyone. Welcome to Dove and Serpent Tarot. My name is Paul. This is your daily tarot one card collective reading for Sunday. Please hit the like button, leave a comment, consider subscribing to the channel, especially if this reading resonates with you. If there is anything you would like me to pray over or meditate upon or send positive energy toward, please let me know. Now, this is going to obviously be a general reading, so try to be open and receptive to whatever may come through during our time together. I am merely the messenger, and I ask you to connect directly with this card and use your own intuition, take you beyond the details that I might provide. And remember that the most important part of any tarot reading is you. Number nine, small taming. Now. This is not a tarot card, is it? Uh, we are doing the I Ching hexagram. This is kind of what we do during our extended readings. So if you are not a member to the channel, if you haven't signed up for the extended readings, um, this is kind of giving you a little bit of an overview of, of how we do that, right? I feel like this is a good way to do the daily reading because they're kind of, they're shorter. And I think there's a lot more energy packed into a uh, smaller package, you know? So uh, speaking of that, I don't know why I always do that. I always hit the wrong button for these ones. The small taming, right? Creating success. Dense clouds without rain come from our Western altar. Kind of like we're waiting for something to break, right? We're waiting for the clouds to kind of open up and we've, we need that rain finally. It's like there's this electricity, there's this tension in the air and it's just like, come on already, you know? Let's see. Uh, a time of restraint brings great hope for future growth and success, but it may feel more like frustration and setbacks where things don't quite work yet. Yeah, see, there's that electricity. We know something's happening. We know something's coming, but where is it? Come on, we need that rain. You know, we need that water. You must cultivate the situation and yourself in small ways, caring for the details, developing your readiness and fitness conscientiously. What small thing can I work on today? How can I cultivate a better terrain? Um, how do we bring, how do we make it rain, right? How do we bring the rain down? How do we make this, this happen? Well, I think we focus on those little details. Maybe those little details are in preparation for when it does finally rain. We've got our little jugs that out there to collect the rainwater for the plants or whatever, whatever we're doing, you know. Um, we've prepared for that. We're doing whatever little things we can. Sometimes that's busy work, right? Sometimes we're just occupying ourselves in order to not go stir crazy, to not have that jazz hands, you know, dancing on the shag carpet kind of thing of anxiety where we want to do something, but right now we're just waiting for the rain. There's nothing I can do. I can't do anything until it rains, right? We're waiting for that, um, what is it, back to the future, the 1.21 gigawatts, right? We can't force the thunderstorm, right? We can't invoke the lightning. Well. Maybe we can. Let's, um, let's supplement this with a Metatron Oracle card. And again, if you haven't signed up for the extended readings, I, I really think you should take a look. Um, you know, every, every reading that we do for every zodiac sign, we do a 10 or 15 minute extended reading that kind of expands on some of the energies and we get to use uh, some of our different Oracle cards and things like that. What we have now is the beacon shine on, right? And maybe this is us kind of uh, acting as that beacon, acting as that, well, the lightning rod, right? We're trying to get that 1.21 gigawatts. We're trying to get the, um, trying to get this situation, you know, working. Trying to get the water flowing. We need the rain, right? We're waiting for the clouds to open up. So maybe this is us acting as the beacon, shining on, acting as the lightning rod. Uh, maybe this is us, um, you know, keeping the candle in the window. Um, I'm trying to think of all these different cliches that I can, you know, uh, keeping the faith, right? Keeping the light on as we're waiting for this. And we're keeping ourselves busy. We're trying not to lose faith. We're, 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 we're maintaining that faith and that hope and that trust, right? Let's do an angel number card. I think today's a good day for this because I know uh, it feels like there is this electricity in the air and we're waiting for this big breakthrough. We're waiting for something to happen as a result of all this work we've been doing. It feels as if something is growing, right? 
It feels as if the clouds are just swelling with, with moisture. When are they gonna break open? When are we gonna hear that thunderclap and the rain's gonna flow? It's any day now, right? Any day now. So today's a day where we, we kind of ask ourselves, well, what should I be doing while I wait? You know, and that's the name of the game. Um, I, I'm used to waiting. I've, I've done my fair share of waiting, you know, um, at doctor's appointments. Um, I had my liver transplant. Uh, I was in the hospital for many weeks and it felt like a lot of waiting, you know, waiting for the doctors to come to give me whatever the test results were for that day, uh, waiting for them to finally remove my breathing tube, waiting for, um, waiting for them to finally allow me to eat something. I was, I was NPO um, for literally for weeks where I couldn't eat or drink anything, right? And, uh, you know, your lips get dry and chapped, your throat gets parched. Um, I was, uh, I, I had intravenous nutrition, you know, and hydration. I didn't need to eat or drink anything, um, but it was the most miserable thing. It was waiting for something to eat, like thinking like somehow I have to force, I have to find something that I can just take a sip of water, anything. Um, it was really, really kind of a, a harrowing ex uh, experience for me. We have all the zeros. I think we had this the other day, didn't we? Uh, I don't know if it was for the daily reading or if it was in one of our extendeds, but it's the limitless potential. And we think of that maybe as like electrical potential that yeah, this situation is gonna be the greatest, the greatest thing that's ever happened and I feel it coming, but oh gosh, where is it, right? Reset, relax, unknown, surrender, finish line, success, victory. This serves as a timely reminder that anything can be accomplished. If you can dream it, there is no reason you can't make it a reality. If something is in the possession of another person, it is also available to you. So try to remain calm. What's meant for you won't pass you by. Let go of tension. Relax. Do things right now that will allow us to keep the faith, keep the light on, but also to, you know, relax, to relieve tension. Maybe we can focus on some other projects. We take our mind off this really big cloud that's that we're, we're waiting for the you know the water to break um and uh you know i i like this card i don't know if it's something in the possession of others can also be ours i like to say it kind of in another way that if something happens one time in the universe anywhere in the universe it can happen again so if anything else if anyone has ever achieved anything in the world i can do it too right if anything happens in the universe once then it's more likely to happen again. Why not me? Why not in this life? Why not in this storm cloud? You know? So I think that this is a good day for us to, to look at that. You know, let's not get anxious. Let's find a way to relieve the tension. Let's find some little things that we can do both to occupy our mind and to prepare for when this really does break and all this energy is unleashed, right? It's just about to happen. I can feel it. Uh, so, so close. I'll do one thing before we leave here today, and that's a Language of Flowers affirmation card. Just something for a little bit of encouragement as we wait, right? The Moth Orchid. Communication. Listen and speak with greater care. Maybe one thing we can do, one of the small taming, one of these little things that we can do now to kind of occupy ourselves is have a conversation right? Let's think about how we might be communicating or really not communicating much with our people, our loved ones, our friends, family. Um, how are we interacting? And so with that, I want to encourage everybody down in the comments, um, say hi, say something about yourself. Um, just any little, any detail or um, any kind of thought or wish or any statement, any affirmation, any prayer, devotion, any appeal, anything you want. Say anything you want within reason, all right? There are standards on YouTube. Um, but let's, let's talk, you know, let's express ourselves, let's communicate, let's listen and speak, but with care. You know, that means with, with observation, with awareness, with intention. And let's be aware of how what we say is affecting other people. The energy that we're communicating, not just verbally, not just, you know, typing or whatever. 
are, we communicate in a lot of ways. Okay. And if we're, if we're jazz hands, if we're tap dancing on the shag carpet in anxiety, that's communication. That's, you know, that's kind of uh, communicating an impatience, you know, a frustration. Um, it's, it, it's important how we express ourselves, right? And I think at least to, to be aware of that. So let's, I think it's a good practice today. It doesn't have to be on this channel, just anywhere. Just, just in your life somewhere, say something intentional, say something um, with care. So if it's something encouraging, if it's a compliment, if it is something constructive, whatever it is, let's be intentional and let's communicate with the world in some way. It could be in your personal life, could be here on this channel, some, another channel, another reader that you like. Um, let's just open that up. It's something for us to do. It'll bring us all closer together while we wait for this cloud to open up and for this water energy to flow. All right. Uh, I want to thank you for being here. It's always my pleasure and honor to bring these messages to you. And of course, I will be seeing you again very, very soon.